Hey, Ark of New Jersey, it's Matthew Locasio back with another weekly edition of Helpful Exercises and Health Tip for you guys. Hope you're having a wonderful week. Uh, this is probably the last week you're going to see these Christmas decorations. I'm finally taking them down. You know, a couple months too late, but again, through the winter months, I like to keep a little ho holiday cheer in here, especially when it's still, you know, we're still getting snow out. It feels like the holiday season, but spring's almost upon us. Um, so I feel like now's the right time to take them down. So uh, say goodbye to the tree. I should have lit up the mirror one more time, but I didn't. I apologize. Uh, but the snow on the ground, much like the snow outside, will be gone shortly. Uh, I hope you're all having a wonderful week, um, as always. And any questions you have about the exercises today, please, please, please feel free to contact us. We want you to make sure you feel safe and secure when you do these exercises. So don't do them if you don't feel like you're 100% confident you're doing them the right way. Reach out to us and we will help guide you through uh, with this or any questions you have about any exercises or health-related matters. That's what we're here for. So uh, you can reach us at 908-875-3241. You can reach us at info at inhometrainermat.com or you can reach us through the contact portal on our website, which is inhometrainermat.com. In -home and again, just click on that contact portal and it should lead you right to where uh, you can message us. So uh, we work on a lot of things here. We've isolated a lot of muscles. Today, we're gonna do wrists and forearms. They're important muscles to work on. So we're gonna show you guys a few different exercises you can do um, to work those wrists, the forearms, and basically everything from the elbow down. So uh, the first one we're gonna do, we're gonna take our weights, and it's almost like you're doing a bicep curl, but you're not gonna move the arms, you're just gonna move the wrist down. Now I'm using fives, cause that's what I have. I strongly suggest using a lighter weight to start, or even like water bottles, anything very light, just make sure it's even weight. Look how I'm holding this, see how I'm getting it down to my four fingers. And then I'm just curling my wrists up. Nice and slow. Watch how I work it down. See that? Nice and slow. Because mainly, I don't want to drop it on my foot. But also, I'm not fully stretching the wrist and working those muscles unless I do it nice and slow and methodical. And again, just curling up. Curling up. When you curl up, make sure you grip it. You don't want to keep an open grip when you curl it up because then the weights are going to roll right out of your hand. Make sure they just hook into those four fingers and then come up. I actually move my forearms too much that time. Bad job, man. Just curling in the wrists. Normal breathing. Nice and slow. If you do this fast, you will fill this into all the wrong places, which we do not want. Last one, and good. All right, guys, make sure in between these exercises, because they are tough on the wrists, we're working very small areas here. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. You can do some of these. Push down, take one hand, and push your fingers down on the opposite side. That stretches those same muscles we're working. You can do some finger exercises like this. Spirit fingers, and then just open, close, open, close. Push down, not hard, very, very uh, light. Stretch the wrist, stretch the forearm, like so. Okay, next one we're gonna do. The exact opposite of what we just did. Notice too, I'm not holding my hand straight out here. I'm holding higher weight, but even if you're holding light weight, keep this in to start. You can always, as you go on, hold out further, but keep it in to start. Now we're starting from a down position. I've got my hands, uh, you know, facing, my palms are facing inward. And now I'm just going to raise up till I see my palms here on camera. If you're working out at home, you want to see your palms in the mirror or see the back of your knuckles if you don't have a mirror. And that way you know you've gotten them up high enough, nice and slow. Not too fast, just like that.
Again, while you're doing these guys, make sure to breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. And you can do this guy seated, standard, however you feel most comfortable doing it. Make sure not to get the elbows out wide, then you're gonna work the wrong muscles, keep the elbows in. And again, if you see from the side here, where my hand positioning is at, this is probably the easiest way to show you guys where your hand should be. Uh, this is great for athletes, tennis players, things like that, but this is good for everyone. Everyone needs uh, more strength in their wrist, forearms. It's an area we hurt often because the muscles in there are weak, so they are important to work. Let's do a couple more here. Again, in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Last one. Beautiful, guys. Okay, again, wiggle those wrists. Wiggle them, wiggle them, wiggle them. Loosen them up. Spirit fingers. If you guys are doing these exercises, you definitely want to do this uh, at home. Um, in between and even afterwards a little bit just to make sure that um, you don't catch any hand cramps, things like that. Wiggle those fingers, open them up, and then of course, stretch. That actually feels great. Don't push too hard. If you push too hard, it's going to hurt. If you push nice and slow and light, you're going to get a nice stretch. All right, guys, last one. Now we're just gonna use one weight, but it's gonna work the same muscles. So we're gonna hold our elbows in. We're gonna squeeze them real tight. We don't want them out here. That's gonna work a different muscle. That's gonna work your back muscles. We want the elbows in. We want the forearms. Look at the forearms are parallel and vertical. And now we're just gonna go Bottom to top, top to bottom. Notice I'm stopping the middle. If you go like this, you're gonna have hurting your wrists and you're working the wrong muscles. Stop in the middle. Don't let momentum take over. Make sure you're using those muscles. You should feel this in the forearms. You'll feel them even in the upper arms, probably in the triceps. A little bit in the wrists, especially if you did those first two exercises first. Again, breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. And again, let's show you guys from the side here so you can see the hand positioning. You probably can't tell from here, but again, make sure the elbows are in and you can see what my forearms and wrists are doing. This is different than when we do the kettle swings and keep them straight out. It's working a completely different muscle, completely different muscle group. Again, try and get it completely vertical. I just shortchanged you on a couple. See, this is good because it keeps me honest. And again, from the forward position. Let's do a couple more. And last one. Good. And again, just wiggle out, wiggle out. You can shake the whole upper body if you want. Get a little rhythm going. Rain, uh, spirit fingers. Open and close. Spirit fingers. Open and close. And again, stretch those palms. You should feel it through your wrists all the way through your forearms when you do that. It should feel like a nice stretch. If you're feeling pain, you're pushing too hard.
just a few seconds at a time and good excellent job guys again very specific muscle group but one we ignore too often one that's very important to everyday life things that we do and again great for injury prevention forearms uh wrists that whole area uh, is important in everything we do and it's very important when you're doing other exercises for other mu muscle groups because remember you got grip weights you got to be able to move those forearms even when you're working the back, the chest, the shoulders, anything upper body wise. So we need to keep that strong as well. Um, as I said in the beginning, any questions you guys have, remember, reach out to us, whether it's about what we showed you in the video today, the Friday workouts or anything health and exercise related that you need answering. That's what we're here for. Again, 908-875-3241 is our, is our telephone number that you can reach us at via call or text. Info at in-home trainer Matt is the email. Uh, we will respond through the email uh, promptly. And then through the contact portal on the website, which is in uh, inhometrainermatt.com. Click on the contact portal and there's a box. You can write in any question, hit send, and we'll get that. Um, the same way we get the email and we'll respond, uh, you know, in a very prompt manner for you guys. So uh, look forward to seeing you guys this week. Keep up the great work. Again, we're so proud of you and we're so glad to be working with you here at IHT. Keep up that motivation. We're almost through this winter time. Say goodbye to the tree and the snow and the lights. But hey, it's a good thing. Because the sun's coming, we don't need lights, we don't need Christmas lights anymore. We got the natural sunlight, it's getting lighter out every day. Keep those positive vibes going, Ark, and we'll see you this Friday.